because I was going to introduce this gentleman anyway for a couple of words, because this is the final one, and it goes to our esteemed Admiral Joe Fowler. You want to say something, Admiral? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Joe, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me particular pleasure to make two awards tonight to members of our society, the Ten Year Club. To Mr. R Walt Disney. Well, thank you. <laughs> and Mr. Roy Disney. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Great. Thank you very much, Joe, and uh, before we uh, conclude the evening's brief and informal program, I've been asked to ask our two honored guests to just say a few words to us in recognition of this very important milestone in our lives and the lives of Disneyland. First, I would like to introduce the president of Walt Disney Productions, Chairman of the Board, Mr. Roy Disney. Roy. Well, probably a lot of you don't even know me or didn't know me, but I have been here. And with all the rest of you, I've had my ner nervous moments too. <laughs> But it has been a wonderful 10 years. And while we have the public to thank for their wonderful attendance, we also have to thank you people that were the key gang in handling that public and in giving them satisfaction and in pleasing them and making them come back like they have and have the word of mouth go around the world as it has, as I have seen it in my travels, that far and wide the reputation of Disneyland stands out primarily, even beyond the show itself, for the courtesy of the people handling the public and the cleanliness and the friendliness of the place. I've always said in my end of the work that it takes people to run a business. And you people have been the heart and the running soul of this business, and we appreciate it no end, and we say congratulations to you for doing the grand job that you have done all these 10 years. Thank you. Thank you very much, Roy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the boss, Walt. Walt. <laughs> I can go back beyond 10 years on this deal. Uh, I remember uh, a few little uh, things that went on before the opening. I was trying to put a show together for the Golden Horseshoe. Well, I'd known Donald, Donald Novas for years, and Donald uh, had been around to see me, and I said, well, there's something we can do. I said, can you get me a comic? He said, yes, I know a, a fellow I was in Australia with. And uh, he said he's getting a little bored living out of a trunk and going traveling around the country, you know, in the nightclub. 
and he might be interested. So I had a, a little interview over at the studio. In came this fellow. He had a little bag with him, and in the bag he had a dummy, and he had some other things. He had some bagpipes. And he came in there, and we were on the stage all alone, and I said, well, uh, we were trying to put a little show together, you know. I said, this is Disneyland. It's going to be a family place. And uh, he says, well, I have some routines. I've been doing them in the nightclubs. He said, I can clean them up. <laughs> and he cleaned them up, you know. Well, there's, I think there's just a little hangover, you know, and a few of those little jokes in there, but it kind of slips by and nobody, you know, realizes it. But uh, that was Wally Bogue. And uh, Wally, we, we've been very happy. We hope you'll stay with us. I hope you've been happy. And, uh, We're still in rehearsal, Wally. Yeah. <laughs> That's my tagline. You stole it from me, yeah. You know, the old time band leader, and he was then running the uh, Elks Band, wasn't it, Vichy? You were in the, yeah. And uh, everything. So that's how we got Tommy in. Well, I can go back to Joe Fowler. We went up there. We had to have somebody, you know, who could really put this thing together. Somebody that could take a hold of this thing and really make it work. And we were told about this retired admiral <laughs> at. Uh, had run the San Francisco Navy Yard, the commandant of the Navy Yard, who had built ships in China and all of that, and he was starting a subdivision up in San Jose, you know? <laughs> so I remember we went up to see him. We went out and met Joe at his home and his lovely wife, and we had dinner there, and uh, we had steaks. They were wonderful, you know? <laughs> and uh, so we sort of prevailed upon him to come down and uh, sort of uh, oh, kind of be a consultant for us and things. And uh, little by little, we got him sort of trapped into the thing, got him so wrapped up in it that he said, to hell with the subdivision. And he, I think he owns half of Newport Bay or something now. I don't know. <laughs> well, we had a lot of problems putting this thing together. There was pressure from money. Uh, a lot of people didn't believe in what we're doing. And uh, we were putting the squeeze play where we could. Uh, I remember that uh, we were dealing with all three networks. They wanted our television show, and I, I kept insisting I wanted this amusement park. And everybody says, what the hell does he want that damn amusement park for? <laughs> and I, I couldn't think up a good reason except that, uh, I don't know, I wanted it. So uh, <laughs> I remember we had a session uh, with NBC. They wanted this Disney television show, and we were stubbornly insisting that we wanted to start an amusement park with it. And David Sarnoff was sitting in on that thing. He said, I want your television show, but he says, why do I have to take that damn amusement park? <laughs> Same thing went for CBS. Yeah, they wanted the television show, but the, this insistence on the backing an amusement park. ABC needed the television show so damn bad. <laughs> that they bought the amusement park. <laughs> well, five years later, my brother figured we better buy those guys out. They had a third interest. They only had a half million dollars invested in that park. But my brother figured, he said, if we don't buy them out now, we're going to be paying them a lot more later. My brother paid them, after five years, seven and a half million dollars for their $500,000 investment. And it was a smart move that he, that he did it then, you know? <laughs> well, my brothers had the worries of getting this money and, and fighting the bankers and things. And there was a time, I think it was after we opened the park, that our banks our bankers said to my brother, they said, oh, about that damn amusement park, we're not going to let you put another nickel in it. And my brother said, well, if you're going to start running our business, we're going out and find some other place we can borrow money. And by gosh, they, they finally gave him the money. But uh, it's been nip and tuck. I mean, when we opened, uh, if we could have bought more land, we'd have bought it. Then we'd have had a control, and it wouldn't look too much like a second-rate Las Vegas around here. 
we'd have had a little uh, a better chance to control it. But we ran out of money. And then by the time that uh, we did have a little money, everybody got wise to what was going on. We couldn't buy any, anything around the place at all, you know. <laughs> but a lot of people don't realize that we had some very uh, serious problems here, keeping this thing going, getting it started. Uh, I remember when we opened, if uh, anybody recalls, we didn't have enough money to finish the, the landscaping. And I had uh, Bill Evans go out and put uh, Latin... Uh, tags on all of the weeds. <laughs> and, uh, we had a lot of inquiries about the <laughs> Well, that's a fact. You asked Bill Evans. Yeah. <laughs> of course, every weed to Bill Evans has got a Latin name, you know. <laughs> but this time, 10 years, uh, I want to join my brother in Paying thanks to all you people who've been here with us and been a part of, of making this thing come across. But uh, I just want to leave you with this thought that uh, it's just been a sort of a dress rehearsal and that uh, we're just getting started. So if any of you start to rest on your laurels, I mean, just uh, forget it. Because... Uh, uh, I've, I've had Dick Nunes on my tail, and he says, uh, you know, he says, we've got to take care of these people. He's got me working harder than I've ever worked before, trying to e e enlarge the park to take care of the extra millions he thinks we're going to gain every year. Now, uh, <laughs> he's got us working hard, honestly. I mean, he says, Walt, he said, we've got to... E Expand Fantasyland. We've got to expand this. He said, we've got to take, and he shows me this graph where you started out here with three million, and the way he's got it going is going up to 10 million. And he may be right because this year, I mean, we're just, uh, just bulging at the seams there. But we do have plans to expand it, to uh, open up areas that it will, it's like a sponge, you have to have these areas to absorb the people, you know. And we hope to have these things going. Uh, we have a whole new plan for Tomorrowland. We have, a, of course, you know of our plans for uh, uh, New Orleans and eventually the, the Haunted Mansion. We have a new Fantasyland coming. That'll be in next year. And uh, really, we've got about uh, 40, mi 40 plus million dollars worth of stuff uh, planned out for the next five years. Now, uh, I don't know whether we got the money to do it with, but... Uh, <laughs> Thank God for Mary Poppins out there. It's <laughs> uh, I always, uh, you know, my office is above my brother's, and I look down, and when I see him walking on the ceiling, you know, that's the time I go down and say, let's put another $10 million in Disneyland. And lately, he's been walking all around that ceiling. <laughs> Well, I know, I, you're going to have some dancing. These boys haven't done a damn thing all night. They've been sitting over there on double time, no doubt. Huh? And I, I think that uh, uh, with uh, just a thanks and appreciation to my big brother, to Joe Fowler, to all the boys, the top boys, and all you people down the line who have been a part of this thing, and as I say... We're just getting started. You know, the show goes on next year. Yeah. Okay, everybody, have fun, dance. It only happens once every 10 years. <laughs>